How to hear from G.O.D. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the Deep Secrets. This book will help reveal the mysteries that can change your life. Please stay with me. At this moment, you're investing in your journey to stardom. Today, I want to talk about how to hear from God. It's a subject most of my readers want to explore, so let's delve into it. Everybody desires to hear from God. It's crucial because people need to know what God wants to say about their situations. Another significant point is that God is still speaking today. In a world filled with confusion and discordant voices, it's essential to discern the truth. In my books, I don't just express opinions, I rely on the foundation of truth, which is God's word. I believe in the authenticity of the Bible, considering it sufficient to reveal everything we need to know in life. So, we base our discussions on what the scriptures say. Please give me a little of your time. Hear me out, and you'll be blessed. Many people are searching for someone to reveal the secrets of their lives to them, often falling into the hands of deceivers. It's vital to be patient and read this book to the end, you won't regret it. Now, let's dive into this ocean of knowledge. Hearing from God is a crucial topic in the Christian faith and other religions because most people believe that God exists and still communicates with humans today. When we hear clearly from God, we avoid terrible mistakes, staying guided right. That's why many folks want to hear from God. Right from day one, a child begins to recognize his father's and mother's voices. It's just natural, but it grows stronger with time, much like our spiritual journey. From the day one decides to follow Christ and becomes a new creature the ability to hear clearly from our Heavenly Father develops. Today, we'll delve into what makes for clear hearing from God separating His voice from other discordant voices. So, let's get into it. God speaks. Satan speaks. The human flesh speaks. Human beings speak. These are the four different voices we encounter in life, sometimes speaking simultaneously. Clear hearing requires a good sense of differentiation to know which voice is from God. In John chapter 10, verse 27, Jesus says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. This refers to those who have given their lives to Jesus Christ, belonging to him. Now, let's talk about different ways God speaks and how you can hear him. In the Bible, there are examples of people who wanted to hear from God. King Saul King Saul in the Bible was eager to get divine guidance from the prophet Samuel. At a certain point Samuel decided to distance himself from Saul due to Saul's offenses against God. Unfortunately, after Samuel's death Saul found himself unable to hear from God since he heavily relied on Samuel as his intermediary. The consequence of depending solely on a prophet instead of directly seeking God's will became evident. Saul, desperate to receive guidance for an upcoming war sought the help of a medium, or witch at Endor. This decision marked the beginning of his downfall. Instead of honing the skill of hearing directly from God, Saul chose to consult someone with a familiar spirit. The outcome was disastrous as the pseudo-Samuel prophesied evil into Saul's life and predicted his defeat in the war. To hear more, get this book is available on Amazon KDP. Thanks for your